October 23rd, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. For your safety, to always follow the three W's. Wear a mask, wash your hands with soap, and watch your physical distance. Congratulations to the following student athletes for their selection to the 2020 seventh grade boys basketball team. Brian Basak, Mason Morningstar, Drew Mezar, Luke Ariston, Max Nolan, Chance Collins, Cameron Lanier, Anthony Llewellyn, Joey Lehman, Evan Hardy, Kyle Mahaka, Yuri Aji, Ben Wall, Nico Maldonado, and Brandon Ridley. Today you should be wearing our favorite college shirt or jersey to show up to show that you want to team up against drugs. On Monday, wear school appropriate pajamas for your goal to live with that goal to live with, to live your dream without drugs. Tonight at 6.30, you can come in and attend the Booth Drive-In Movie Night featuring Hocus Pocus. Bring money for concessions and have your mask because social distancing rules are in place. The cost is one dollar for each golf cart. See you there. There's a way. There's a way for your team to win a pizza party. Let's go to the commercial to see more. Miss Mosley, I heard something that my team can win a pizza party at the end of the year, and that there's like this new booth book bingo. Can you explain? Sure. Well, they're connected. So the team that reads the most books by the end of the school year gets a pizza party. You can ask your English teacher or your literacy teacher to explain it further. And also, in the Media Center course in Schoology, there's a folder titled Book Bingo. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Read it on, Warriors! Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, Youth Warriors. This is Zachary with a few words of wisdom. This week is Red River Week, a time when we pause to think about the problem of substance abuse and its negative impact on our schools, our communities, and our nation. Red River Week was started in memory of a young man named Enrique Camarena. His friends and family called him Kiki. Kiki Camarena grew up in poverty and a home with dirt floors as a child. He dreamed of doing something to make the world a better place. His dreams motivated him to work his way through college become a Marine, then despite his mother's concern, join the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. He once said, I'm only a person, but I want to make a difference. The D sent Kiki to Mexico to work as an undercover agent, investigating a major drug cartel. He was eventually kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by drug dealers. So listen up. Those who buy or use illegal drugs are not just saying yes to drugs, they're saying yes to the kind of criminals who kill Kiki. If you're using illegal drugs or attempted to, think about Kiki Carmarena, think about his family and friends and how much they still miss him. Then walk away. You're far too good to be a part of that whole scene. With something to think about, this is Zachary. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. I didn't. He turned. He turned down offers. Why? Why are so worse? So angry. What about Wilson? In other words, <laughs> Jackson, you are my you. Like you. Yeah. you know how to sing up. Okay, we got it. We got it. Good morning, Miss Warriors. This is kind of you with a few words of wisdom. So. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm doing care. What? what? Yeah. I'm. Do we 
gonna tell me when to go. They fly this way. Uh, can I start over? Listen to these encouraging words from the late Senator Robert F. Kennedy. Each time a man stands up for what he believes in or acts like, it's going to a great day. If we're not, the choice is always yours. The bell is about to ring. With something to think about, this is Anna. Make it a great day or not, tell us about it. Good morning, Good morning Warriors. This is Mario. This is Warsaw. This is your harsh note. This is your harsh note. This is your harsh note. No. Warriors. This is your host, Noah. And Will. Just letting you get here. Noah. And Will. This is. Why is this horse talking? This is your host, Noah. Can we just do some literacy? Okay, oh no. Hold up. I can do this. Welcome can to Sports Talk. This is your host, Noah. Noah. Welcome to Sports Talk. This is your host, Noah. And Will. Today, we'll be talking about OKC Thunder, and they took a tough loss in the first round. Of James Harden blocked the last game winning shot. My iPad's in bed. I can't see the next. Okay. It was gracious for the conference. Can we switch? Because you know what we're saying, and I don't know what we're saying. Okay. Okay, fine. I, I can remember the things. Right, let's go. Come on now. Let's go. Right, let's go. I actually can remember things. I look short now. No, no, no. Move back. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> oh, that's what I James Harden blocked the last shot. Um. Uh, Speaking wait, of James Harden, he was he also shot poorly, only getting 17 points. Wait, who do you think is going to win the conference semifinals? Who shot the last shot? Because it feels bad. <laughs> <out. laughs> <laughs> You have 30 points. Lloyd Stewart. Alright, Glenn Stewart. Dort. 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 Lloyd Stewart. Dort. The OKC Thunder took a tough loss in game 7 of the first round. Okay, okay, okay. Right. From the top, last time. No, from the top. Let's hold up. Let's go. Let's go.